Hello, this is Iron Bill back again with another video. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a nightfall and I haven't done that in a while. This one is an ordeal nightfall adept. Um, that's the lowest level and I'm doing this solo and really what I was trying to do is pump out three nightfalls because I want to go ahead and get the uh, powerful reward this week. But also I've, there's a triumph associated with uh, doing 25 nightfalls in the season. And I hadn't done that many of them. I, I was at 20 and I thought, well, I'll do three tonight. Maybe pick up a couple tomorrow and finish off that quest or uh, that triumph. I, I haven't played my other two characters this week. Maybe tomorrow I'll get in and, and do a little bit of those just to, I don't know, just to kick around. Something else to do. Um, and uh, I don't know, just knocking about in PvE. So before we get going, of course, let's do the Diet Coke. Mmm. Diet Coke, the taste of an older generation. Diet Coke, please. Please. You know you want me. You know you want me. All right, so I'm going to roll this. Uh, I'm running the True Prophecy. I think I was running the Gnawing Hunger and the Xenophage on this. Uh, I was also Stasis, Warlock, and Transversive Steps. There, there's nothing. You really don't have to do too much to set up for this. Uh, it's not that difficult. If you were to go up to Hero or Master, yeah, you got to think about it. But this is pretty base level stuff here. So if you're just trying to knock it out for your power, and that kind of kicked me into the wall there. If uh, you want to uh, knock this out for powerful rewards, that'll help you out. Uh, you know, min maxing your your uh, power levels, whatever. Uh, this is fine. And honestly, if you're just trying to kill time and have fun. This is okay, too. I prefer these largely to strikes. They're a little harder than strikes, but they're not difficult. And in this one, you can actually skip a great deal of it. In the one I did previous to this, uh, there was a person who just ran through everything. I mean, like, everything. And we got it done in a little over five minutes. And, uh, you know, I don't really want to do that. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that will just hang around and kill everything because that's what the game's about. It's about killing stuff. So... Uh, it, to me, it seems pointless just to run through just so I can collect some weapon, uh, or, you know, that I really probably will either infuse or dismantle. But, you know, I'm not the person to say how everyone else should play. Uh, and people have their reasons for playing, it's a broad enough game, that's fine. The trouble, though, with being involved with someone who, who runs through it, is that you can try to stay back here and kill the enemies, but they despawn. If they get far enough ahead, they despawn. And I see that person dead over to the side, and I move to get him, and somebody's already picked him up, which is good. And these guys, they're kind of doing a hybrid of uh, what the, the person before did. And in my first night, nightfall, we went through and killed everything in about ten and a half minutes. In this nightfall, um, I was trying to clean up just so we didn't have uh, anything behind us, and, and plus I just like to do the killing, and I noticed they ran off. Or at least one person did. And I thought, well, okay, if, if that's the way it's going to go, then I'm, I'm going to have to run, night. too. So after this, you notice that uh, we, did, we just make our way down. And Halo, the 178 guy, is just tons ahead at this point in time. If I hung back here much longer, then the enemies despawn. And there'd be no point. You know, and sometimes... <laughs> I kind of get miffed about that enough that I realize that I can't run fast enough to get to that person before they get to the end anyway, so I just sit still and just wait for it. It's kind of like when you do, uh, oh, not the Pyramidian, but uh, the Inverted Spire. If somebody decides to take off on a Sparrow in that last stage and run through the drill, once they get the head start, you're not going to catch them. If they don't die, you're not going to catch them, and you might as well just take a seat and wait for them to pull you in, because that's what's going to happen anyway. Um, and sometimes, if you... And I had a clan mate one time that was that fast, except he killed it. I mean, he just swept the arena clear <laughs> as, as he ran through it, and I couldn't keep up with him, running full speed. I never really got to kill anything. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. All right. So, we are making our way through it. Xenophage is really useful here because if I stay up here, which I did the first time, you can knock those three enemies out on that top cliff without actually too much trouble. But I had somebody to my right also uh, with the same idea. We've got one more wizard up here to deal with. He threw a super, so I'm going to focus on this other one up here and just take it out. And see, he's taking care of the lower stuff, so I'm going to grab this and run. Just get it out of the way. Because, if you notice, Halo is running through that back area. So, I'm going to do my thing here. 
pop that guy. And, you know, I don't worry too much about saving heavy on this one because it's just not that tough. I mean, it just isn't. And I didn't grab a sword because a sword in the boss fight is a good way to get yourself killed. And the stronger the nightfall, the more likely that is because they have a, an area of effect attack that uh, if it blows you into a wall, it'll kill you. And Xenophage is just better. And by the way, Xenophage doesn't have company. a crit spot. So anywhere you hit with Xenophage, you're going to damage uh, for the full effect. And it just makes it um, a good weapon for something like this that has a tiny crit spot. Although I, I don't pull it out here because I, I was saving the ammo for a little bit later on. Queen so close it it to does the make the last phase Mission go faster. From the hell on it's the not like you're going to fail it because you won't, but you can get through it quicker if you do have your heavy. Alright, so we're making our way through. This is not going to take too much longer. I'll admit, I got some mixed signals from Halo. I wasn't quite sure what he was trying to accomplish here. You can run by these things. I mean, do all of it. And I was watching to see what they would do. But one of the guys kind of hesitated here and there, and he wasn't bothering to clean up anything behind him. So I was just taking uh, my hand cannon here and just popping some of those things off. I see Halo's run for it, so there's no reason to hang around anymore. I kind of put myself in a bad spot because now... The enemies can spawn on me, and I've got uh, all kinds of things up to my right and my left, and I've just got to move quickly now. And then I realized that maybe Halo hadn't been up there. It looked like he was. Now, in the previous run, the guy ran right through. I mean, he just absolutely just... he didn't stop for anything. True Prophecy hits hard. It's hitting for 5,684 5, on the Queen for a crit, plus the explosion. So, it's a pretty good hand cannon, but I, at only 9 rounds and a slow reload, I don't know that it's the best thing I could have been using there uh, in, in order to pull it down quickly. I always look to see which way those guys are going to go, then I go the opposite way. Toss a grenade here, and everything will have to run through a grenade to get to us. But I don't understand, if I do that, why uh, everyone turns that direction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll never get that. If you're doing this smart, you split that up. You have one guy on each side, maybe a guy at the center just cleaning up anything that gets by. That's what I would do with a team. All right, so now we're down to the last fight. He got it before I did. And I've got 19 Xenophages, or Xenophage rounds. This should go pretty quickly. This will. Notice I'm not even going for the head until he puts that shield up. It wasn't a low shield, so he wasn't going for reload. I'm just not quite sure what his point for doing that was. It just pretty much blocked me out. Just getting ready to split. I've got my super. I'm just waiting to throw it. When she splits, I'll throw it. And that's my last round. And she's behind. And here we go. I'm trying to run to reload, and yeah, I didn't realize that I had uh, over capacity. And here it goes, finishing up. Now this is pretty much going to toast it out. Um, so not much else to say on this. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play a lot today. Lots of stuff going on, so this is pretty much all you know I had to share. Um, I do hope Spider, I'm off tomorrow, off so I do hope to get a chance to play. And uh, I'll probably try some PvP again. That's what I plan to do. I, I got game, but I could get a, a pinnacle, and I'm just I'm not interested in doing it at all. I'm just I'm just not. So you know what? I'm at the place. I'm just going to play what I want to play. I think that's what everyone should do. All right. So I want to thank you so much for watching. This is Iron Bill, and I am signing out.